Hey guys, it's Homewrecker, and I just want to share some quick impressions on XCOM Enemy Unknown, which came out yesterday, uh, October 9th, 2012, in the US. I believe it's coming out this Friday the 12th in the rest of the world, but uh, yeah, in, in the US it's already out. Unfortunately, I did not get an early access copy of this one, so uh, you know, I'm, I'm still playing through it, and there's absolutely no way I can do like a proper review at this point because there's still a lot of gameplay for me to see but I think I've gotten a decent chunk through already I'm probably about a third of the way through and you know there's some things that I definitely do like about it and there's some things I I'm not too sure about just yet so that's what I thought I would go over since I haven't had a chance to beat the game you know I just thought I'd share some impressions with you guys so uh, some things I do like uh, now that I've seen more of the game beyond what the demo had was the fact that there's still base customization, there's research, uh, manufacturing is in the game, and you can still interact with the council, you still have to manage the relationships that you have with other countries and stuff. Uh, even if it is a little bit simplified, like with equipment now, it, it taps into the resources you get as you go out, plus you have to spend a little bit of money. But once you create something, it I haven't seen anything disappear yet. I'm not quite sure yet if it disappears when somebody dies uh, or if it goes back into your inventory pool. Uh, honestly, I haven't had many people die yet, at least with upgraded equipment. And I'm playing on classic mode, so it is pretty difficult. I mean, I've, I've had guys get gravely injured many times. I've uh, had very close calls and, and everything, and, and mostly I lose rookies more than anything. I'm seem to be doing a good job of keeping my uh, you know my promoted guys who have additional skills and stuff that helps with their survivability and damage potential and stuff like that but it, it definitely does seem a little bit simplified it's not to the point where it's necessarily like annoying and I, I can't stand it but um, you can tell that there's definitely been some changes that I think were influenced by the need to go onto the consoles uh, I'm not sure if that was something that Firaxis wanted to do or if that was more of a, you know, a, a 2K thing, but I, I think the console, uh, you know, multi-platform thing that they went for did have an impact. The uh, previous XCOM games, they tended to have more open areas and uh, you would have usually multiple buildings that you could explore and, and you'd have to go hunt for the aliens a lot of times or at least try to set up traps for them if they came out to you. And you could do that in a number of ways. You could go find little positions and and uh, you know set up reaction fire stuff like that. You could lay down proximity weapons, or you could just like blow open walls. Especially with some of the explosive weapons that the previous games had. In this game, it seems like most of the combat so far is taking place outdoors, and uh, you're not necessarily going through buildings all that often. I mean, even when there are some buildings that you can get into, still I'm seeing that you know most of the combat I'm at least experiencing is taking place outside of those buildings or I'm shooting into them from the outside. Um, the levels themselves seem to be a bit more narrow as well. Not that you know this is necessarily like a a, a devastating thing where you know it's, it's making me dislike the game but it does remind me a little bit of like what Fraxis did with Civilization Revolution where they took the complexities of Civilization and they try to streamline it in a way where you could have quick games and uh, where it would be appealing to more than just, you know, hardcore Civ players. And it was still a fun game. Like, honestly, I, I really like Civilization Revolution. And I do feel like I'm, I'm enjoying this game quite a bit. But I wouldn't call it necessarily like a hardcore sequel, even on classic mode. I, just because there's a lot of differences. Even with the weapon selection stuff, like, most of the weapons seem to be ballistic in nature. And they're, they're meant to be, like, single target weapons. So, you know, you've mostly got like rifles, sniper rifles, machine guns, stuff like that, pistols. But the weapons like the cannon and the auto cannon and stuff and, and some of the different uh, rocket launcher configs you used to see in the old games aren't really quite there anymore. And I do miss that a lot because I, I know this probably sounds cheesy, but one of my favorite weapons to rush and, and use in the old XCOM games was actually the auto cannons. And I used to love throwing in, you know, explosive rounds in there. Or even going with like the incendiary ammo and lighting fires on the landscape. So that stuff's gone now. You're mainly focusing on single targets and it's more of like a micromanagement of which targets to take out first or how to lure them to you and stuff like that. 
One good thing is that the enemies do roam on classic difficulty. I saw another review where a reviewer had said that they don't roam. That's not true. On classic, they definitely will roam. And while you can go find them, they can also find you and try to flank you and stuff like that. And it, the enemy actually does use some flanking tactics, which I uh, really do appreciate. It's nice to, uh, you know, not have to just face them off head on every time. It's, it's nice to see some intelligent AI uh, being put to use. The visuals are, are really good. They're obviously a step up from the previous games. They probably could have been a little bit better on PC, but uh, again, you know, this is a multi-platform game, and I'm sure that there are some constraints with what they could do uh, based off the hardware that's in current consoles. Sound effects, voice chatter, and the music is all really good. The music reminds me a lot of Deus Ex, Human Revolution, which uh, I really like the soundtrack to that game, so I do like XCOM soundtrack quite a bit. Some other concerns, though, I really wish I could still build on other continents. There's now, a, like, a satellite system, and that's decent, but I miss having multiple bases and being able to build up, you know, my presence throughout the world. It's, it's kind of weird being stuck at one base. Another thing that seems a little bit weird is that snipers right now seem to really dominate. I mean, the characters that I have that are surviving the longest and getting the most kills are the snipers and I, you know I can appreciate them having power but it would also be nice to have more power with the assaults as well the guys who get up there on the front lines because sometimes it'll only be like six tiles away from something and I'll still have like a 50 percent chance miss rate versus I've got a sniper like way far away that uh, has squad sight and you know he's able to to have a 80 plus percent chance sometimes of hitting the target it's, it does feel a little bit weird to, you know, be in that situation with some of the frontline guys. And, you know, again, without, like, the auto cannons and stuff or explosive rounds, except for, like, the, the missile or the uh, rocket launcher skill that one of the character types has, you're kind of limited in what you can do. I mean, you could use uh, grenades. Those work, too. But then it destroys equipment and you lose bodies and stuff like that. So it's usually not Remember, worth it. Uh, what else? The... I had already mentioned the incendiary ammo. Uh, I mean, there is none. Fires don't really break out. I did find it weird that uh, there are no daytime missions, at least yet. I, I was kind of hoping that there would be day and night missions and, you know, at least have that variety. But it seems like every time you reach a combat location, even when the sun's out on that location, by the time you get there, it's always a nighttime thing. And I, I did find that a little bit strange. Also, the levels appear to be fixed, not randomly generated. So I do worry a little bit that that will kind of make the game feel like it has, or that it's more of a linear experience and that you're seeing the same levels over and over. You're seeing the same buildup in, of encounters where you're moving, you know, through the different alien types and stuff like the sectoids and uh, moving into the, uh, oh, what are they called? The... Uh, They've got this uh, flying race that pops up early, and then you got like the Thin Men, and, and then Mutons, and you know, it's it's probably going to be the same progression in uh, future playthroughs, and with that, plus the levels that appear to be fixed, like pre-generated, I, I do worry that might affect the replayability of the game. There is, though, multiplayer, so I think that could be quite interesting. It might extend replayability a little bit, but, um, you know, I still have to get through the game to see uh, just how how things progress and you know is it going to be interesting enough to try to keep playing through this because I'll tell you what the old XCOM games they kept me latched on for a very long time and I honestly I, I can't even count how many times I've I've played through the old XCOM games and replayed them over and over and over again just because every time it felt like a different experience again I, I do like the game I think it's uh, quite fun and you know unfortunately like I said I wasn't able to check it out prior to release, so this is really just first impressions. I could end up liking it even more than I already do, or I might sway the other way, but I haven't had enough experience with the game yet to tell. So um, I'll probably do a follow-up on this, but I I just wanted to let you guys know that, uh, you know, or at least tell you guys what I've been playing lately and, uh, you know, just share a little bit about the game so you can uh, get a vibe as to, you know, what might be different from those old classics.
Well, that's it guys for this video. Please be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about my channel. I always appreciate it when you guys do that. And share my videos with them if you think they'll like them. Again, thanks guys for watching. I will have more content up soon, so there's definitely more stuff to come. Stay tuned, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. <laughs>